Hi, this is Johan from Minerva, and today's video is about flexibility in, in RS and in PNM software in general. Um, we'll talk about the part numbering in this video, because as it is one of the first thing you might um, be asked from the customer, or if you are a, a company that uses RS, that's one of the first thing you want to implement, uh, because you have a legacy system, for example, that has an intelligent part numbering system. Um, when you start RS Innovator, you have in the part form a field for part number, but you can do, so it is a mandatory field, uh, but you can put pretty much everything, anything you want, um, and it will work. Put anything and that works. So what we want to do in this demo, there is a, there is a feature already that allows you to uh, have a sequence for uh, parts, for example, but it's just a matter of um, you can put for example PRT and then a number that is incremented but you can't with this tool just put um, an intelligent part numbering for example uh, with more uh, information in it um, and so what we will do in this video is put a show how easy it is to create a part numbering system with um, PRT starting with PRT and then we'll put the classification, the first four letters of the classification, and then the increment, um, the, the number that is incremented every time you create a part. So first thing, first thing that I want to do is to have this, um, to, to set up this number of four digits also, which will increment, which will be incremented. So it is a sequence we will reuse this default, default part sequence. Today it's, it's way too different than what we want. So we'll start at one, the recurrent value is one, no suffix, we just want to use the number, pad width, so that's the thing you want to add. If, for example, if you're at one and you have four digits, it will be zero, 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 one. Uh, and then pad two, it's the amount of, uh, of digits you want. And you increment it by one, so that's just the 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 numbering, uh, the incremented number that will be in the part numbering. And then you've got we we could put a prefix here because we want to you start from uh, PRT, uh, but we will put it differently. So if I go in the definition of the part here, and I edit it. I can see that the part numbering is mandatory. So we ask, um, the part number is here, item number, if I can find it, part number here. It is mandatory, is it, it is required. So it, it, the user won't be able to save it unless it puts a number. The, the change we will make is that we won't ask the, the user to enter it. We will just block this field and make it uh, filled uh, automatically. So let's keep a string. Um, it is unique index. That's that's okay. So the next thing I want to do is apply on this uh, part or on each instance apply this um, intelligent process where I take I write PRT then the classification and then um, the number. So to do so, I need to create a server event that will be raised before adding the uh, the part. So we name it. Oh, I will create a new one. Call it Minerva part numbering. It is a server event, so it will be I write it in in VB, and I select the event which is on before add. Let's now write the method. So that's one of the big thing when people ask me, "Well, is this feature needs um, coding?" And a lot of time you need a little bit of coding. And in this situation, for example, we'll put just one line of code. Uh, it would be there might be some uh, more than one comment in the in the same line, but that's just to prove you that in just one line you have a strong feature. So we'll just say 
me will be this form, uh, this item that we are creating. And what we want to do is set the property, oops, set the property, which is called item number. So that's the one we use, that's that's the part number. Part number is just the label, item number is the property name. Property name. And what will state then is the value that we want to enter. So what I've said is that we'll start with part. And I add, so after the part I said I wanted the classification. So just the same way, instead of setting the property, I will get a property, get property, classification. And now for classification, um, you may not want to select classification. So you, we can add a value here if no classification has been um, has been set. So we'll just say R R A M D and then we'll get so I just want to get the first four digit, uh, the first four letters. Uh, so one thing I would just use uh, common VB um, methods, which is I'll get from character zero to three. So that's the, three, the four first digit uh, characters. Um, so that provides me with that, and then uh, I will add this separator and then I get my, my sequence. So the sequence exists, um, you've seen it before, it's called default, default part, that's the name that it has. Um, and so I just, with the context that I'm in, I can reach the uh, innovator uh, methods and from there I can ask to get the new sequence value and increment the, the whole sequence. So I'll just go here and say get next sequence. If you're not sure about this, you've got all the documentation in here. Um, and you have get next sequence and you have all the documentation down there. So get next sequence and just the name of the sequence, which is default part. And I'll just close the brackets here. All right. I save it. I check the syntax and that's okay. One more thing that I want to do, and I said that I wanted to um, make sure that the user won't be able to enter anything in it. So on the form directly, I'll just take the part number and disable it. Um, and I save it. And now it's done. So I've got, I can create a part. Let's get back to the part list. I can create a part here. You see that the part number, I can't write anything in it. Test part numbering. If I don't select any, any classification here, I will just save to see if my method works. And you see it's PRT RIN, so I made a mistake. It's zero to four that I need to uh, select for the numbering. But that's pretty much uh, how it works. And in just one line of coding, I had the ability to add intelligent um, numbering. Let me just create a new part and showing you the, the example with classification selected and a uh, material, for example. Let's save it. And you got PRT MAT 003 and it's it's been incremented. So that's pretty much how it's it's done. Uh, I post the the code line on the on the blog so you don't have to uh, review uh, every time or post the video on there. Um, but it's just to explain how 
sometime in our eyes you've got different level of developments to us that's something that is easy to develop and we don't want people to get scared when we say there's just one line of code 